let me give you two big ideas that that allowed me to generate a lot of money doing doing this doing this app. People only buy things that they want, right? And or need. But it's the perception of what they want that's going to get them attracted to your product and or your service, right? Or for example, your coaching services. So this is gonna be really key that that's how we position the offers that we're giving people, right? Because think about it like this. You know, you wanna be, a, people have a particular problem around whatever product, whatever services that you help them with, right? So if we're looking at coaching, you might be a relationship coach, right? And they, you might say, how to have, um, you might say, how to find the perfect woman, how to find a perfect man. It might be how to lose 50 pounds in, a less f in the next five months, right? It might be how to make your first $5,000 in the next 30 days, right? Or the, the next $5,000 in the next 30 days. It really doesn't matter what it is, but at the end of the day, you're selling people on, or not, if that sounds negative, really what you're doing is you're offering value or you're, you're giving people something that they, that they want or the, or the perception of what they need. And I'm going to tell you why perception is important. But I want you to get this fundamentally. People are only going to buy the things that they think that they want. Think about that. I used to struggle a lot with trying to position or sell or offer people things that I knew that they truly needed. But because that's not how they perceived what they wanted or that's not how they verbalized it, I didn't get as much uh, attention or I didn't get as much sales as possible. You feel what I'm saying? Like, for example, I work with a lot of people who are new to coaching and speaking, right, for example. And I might do a session, I might do a session on, you know, how to make six figures in the next 12 months that might be a session that i do right let's see if that's a that might be a boot camp that might be a webinar that might be whatever right so that will attract a lot of people saying listen i want to take my business to the next level especially if you're new you're like yo listen i'm just starting this thing i want to go to the next level right and you'll be excited you'll be excited to learn that and you like yo i need to find what the latest tricks are i need to find what the latest tools are what's going to help me get there this that this that this that right and you'll be excited to learn that and i teach you i teach you a lot of those those strategies too right but if i know that i'm marketing specifically to people who are brand new to the industry if i know that i'm doing an event that's people that's brand new to the industry They'll come in knowing that that's what they want or feeling like that's what they want, but what I'm gonna actually give them are the things that I know that's actually gonna help get them to the next step. A lot of the times, if it's people who are just starting, it might be um, it might be um, things on mindset, right? You might say, "Oh man, like oh, yo, I'm trying to, you know, I need to be able to close these sales and." Um, and and, 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 and and I want to be able to make ten thousand dollars a month, and I'm like, cool. If I'm coaching you, you bring no. I'm gonna be like, cool. Like that's you know, or if I or if, let's say if I'm trying to help you, I might be like, cool. Okay, listen, we can get you to ten thousand dollars a month. That's what we're gonna do here. Yeah, I wanted to come in, and you know, and, and, and this is how I want it to be, etc. Right? But then, um, but then as I start asking you questions, I'll start realizing the reason why you're nowhere near 10 grand a month in your business is because you're actually afraid to put out content. You're actually afraid to put out video. You're actually afraid to DM somebody. Demonstrate the best features and benefits of your, of your program and yourself. Very important. Demonstrate the best features and benefits of your program and yourself. So you're not only presenting, you're not only talking about how great your program is and how it can help them, but you also have to sell yourself because people got to know, like, and trust you too. Benefits, coach, what do you mean by demonstrate? Meaning, if you can jump on a Zoom call with them, 
And you can literally show them how you can help them. You can show them. So if it's career coaching, you show them what a good resume looks like and a bad resume looks like, right? You show them, hey, these are the websites you can go to. Because today is so many people who are getting access online, right? And I think maybe since like, you know, COVID happened, it's been so many people, so many people are on social media online now and everybody is claiming a bunch of things, right? But not a lot of people are demonstrating their actual expertise. That's what's going to make us stand out. Let me give you two big ideas that, that allowed me to generate a lot of money doing, doing this, doing this. It comes to telling stories. First thing you really want to do is you really need to tell, and it might, some of this might sound basic, but I want you to pay attention to this because this, this is, this is very key. I want you to tell a relevant story, relevant, re relevant story. And this is why this is important. Um, and this is how I've used this when it comes to sales. Anytime I'm on a consultation call or I'm on a strategy call with somebody, or if I'm doing it through zoom, if I'm talking to somebody who could potentially become a client, big mistake people make is that they just run off the, the features of what they do, right? And they might even tell you some benefits. One of the things that I do well, if you ever get on a strategy call with me, is I'll tell you a story of somebody who's been in a similar situation to you, as you. And you'll connect with the person that's in that story and then say, oh, you know what, I know I can do it too. I do this a lot when I'm doing trainings. I'll do this on a strategy call. I'll do this on, um, I'll do this on stage in front of an audience. And the reason is people... People need to, they, they want to connect and they want to learn and they want to, they, they want to, they want to, they want to be enrolled in what you're saying, but it's hard for somebody to be enrolled if you're just talking at them or if you're telling a story that they don't care about. So one of the things I'm going to challenge everybody on here to do for, on Instagram and on Facebook, I'm going to challenge you to tell a, tell a story. I want you to go out and my call to action to you is I want you to tell a story in your next video. The next video that you shoot, say, coach, challenge me to tell a story. So I'm going to challenge you to tell a story, right? I don't know why I said it like that, story, right? So I'm going to challenge you to tell a story. Now, when I, I want you to tell a relevant story. And what makes a story relevant? It makes it relevant based on the topic that you're talking about. And it makes it relevant based on the audience that you're speaking to. All right, second thing I want you to, I want you to, I want you to add all five senses. Add, I want you to add all five senses. All five senses, add that. The reason I'm saying add all five senses is because that is what's going to make your story more engaging. When you tell a story, you want to make sales. People have to connect with what you're saying, right? So you're telling a story that's relevant. So if I'm talking to a client and I'm saying, oh, listen, you're a life coach too. Or I know another life coach who's been through this. Or I, or somebody says, oh, you're struggling. You know, you want, you really want to join my coaching program. What makes that important is people will feel what you're saying more, right? So even though I, even that, as I was telling the story of hot and under cars, hearing the, hearing the bullets whizzing by the car, woof, 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 on the, on the ground, on the pavement. This is me as a kid feeling the gravel, feeling the gravel of my, of, of, of the, the rocks that's under my fingers on the pavement. Seeing people run about a car, hearing it. This is these are the type of visuals. This is how you want to be able to add all five of your senses: what you smell, what you see, what you hear, what you feel. Right. The more you add these elements in, the more somebody feels like they're in a story. And anytime you want somebody to take action, you want them to have more feeling. 
So you want to be very intentional and start telling stories more because that's going to make a big impact on your audience.